what if I broadened our idea of what consistency was to include taking advantage of opportunity when you have it, meaning I might not have an opportunity to work out today. Well, let's not hold it against me because every time I do have an opportunity, I take it. Do you ever struggle with motivation? It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Welcome to this classic episode of Spartan Up Podcast. Today, three clips from classic episodes. Forget motivation. Focus on consistency and habits. You'll hear from Impact Theory founder Tom Bilyeu, Ray Ushikubo, child prodigy pianist and violinist, and leadership expert Brian Chantosh, who hosted our own series, Spartan Stand. This episode of Spartan Up is brought to you by FitAid. Race dirty, recover clean with FitAid Sports Recovery Drink. Visit lifeaidbevco.com and enter the code SPARTAN15 at checkout to get 15% off FitAid. Tom Bilio, filmmaker and serial entrepreneur, tells Joe DeSena what he thinks are the essentials to a successful routine. So for people out there, give us two or three things that they could do at home that are going to impact them and get them to be more empowering and, and get shit done in life. Once you believe that you can get better, now all of your efforts are going to be worthwhile. You are what you do habitually. That's it. And so people have horrific habits. They have horrific mental habits in terms of what they allow themselves to think. So I would say the first thing is um, Dr. Daniel Amen um, has this concept of crushing ants, A-N-T-S, automatic negative thoughts. And I think that's brilliant. So when you have a negative thought about yourself, your abilities, whatever, that you replace that with a positive thought. So if you think, oh, I'm not good at this, right? I'm, I'm in last place at the Spartan race. I'm not good yet. Once you insert that word yet, then it becomes a question of, okay, what can I do habitually to get better at that? Sure. So I'll give you a simple example of my day-to-day -day routine. I hate the gym, dude. I'm that guy that you wanted to get off the couch. Yeah. Absolutely hate working out. I get no, whatever the endorphin rush that most people is, I don't get that. Like the newspapers. Yes, right. exactly. So right. say, I want to avoid it. I want right. to stay in my nice warm bed. Right. So one, I have a bright line that I get out of bed in 10 minutes or less. And a bright line means it's something I never do. 10 minutes, from. it takes me about 12 seconds. Yeah, so you're minutes. way ahead of me. It used to take me three hours. Really? Four hours sometimes. I'm not kidding. So your Two eyes minutes. open. And I would lay in bed, I would turn the TV on. I would really? just. 100%. So what I, and so I interviewed Jocko Willink once yeah. and I told him that and he said, don't worry, we'll let you cut that out of the interview. And I said, I don't want to. My whole mission is to yeah. get people to understand it does not matter where you start. Right. Like who you are today is completely irrelevant. Right. If you're an undereducated kid in Compton, it doesn't matter. Who do you want to become? Right. What's the price you're willing to pay to get there? Sure. Okay, that's it. Now to get there, the practical stuff, doing things like, I go to bed at 9 p.m. like it's a religion. So that I get, I prioritize sleep. I think people are subpar if they're not getting enough sleep. Yeah. So I don't use an alarm. I haven't used an alarm in almost 15 years. Right. Okay, built a billion dollar business without using an alarm. So people that say like, oh, you, there's no way. 100%. Right. Go to bed early, whatever time you need. Right. Wake up whenever you wake up. Put your gym clothes right next to your bed so that you would have to make a choice yeah. to wear anything other than your gym clothes. Right. Put your gym clothes on, you immediately right. go to the gym. So whether you love it or hate it, doesn't matter. It's the first thing you do. Yeah. Rock it out, get it done. Yeah. In the gym, you're using identity. I'm the type of person that I attack the weights, I push myself, like so that you can get pride out of doing that. Yeah. Learning how to self-reward in terms of practical stuff, that's like number one. So when you do that, when you got out of bed in 10 minutes, when you put your gym clothes on, yeah. when you went to the gym first, you already feel good about yourself. Yeah. Hit the weights, you come out, then meditate. That's huge. So yeah. people have a hard time with distractions, especially now today. They're not doing anything to train themselves to just sit and think, to just sit and calm the mind. Sure. And so from a brainwave state, getting into an alpha wave state where you're calm and creative, yeah. absolutely critical, critical, lowers your stress, lowers your anxiety. Yeah. Then from that, I suggest people do something called thinkitating, which is where you take that alpha wave state from yeah. meditating, but now you think through the hardest problems that you have in your life, in your family, in your business, whatever. Sure. And you'll find that you get pretty interesting ideas from that. And then don't check email. That's a hyper practical way to be successful. Right. Email will ruin your life. I think it is going to be the downfall of Western civilization. Oh, it's ruining my kidding. life every day. Ray Ushikubo is a pianist and violinist. He's played at Carnegie Hall and soloed with the Los Angeles Philharmonic. Do you wake up and just tired and say, I don't feel like playing the piano today? Huh? Do you wake up and say, I don't feel like playing the piano today? Well, yeah, well, no. Well, I generally practicing isn't such a fun thing to do, but, um, well, I know that in order to become better, that I have to practice, so I just keep my discipline. 
But there's there's never days where you just say I'm just I don't feel like doing it. Well, I I feel that many times, but I I never I never skipped any I never skipped. You don't skip a day. Yeah. Seven days a week. Well, most of most of the time, but sometimes I go outside, go to Disneyland or something、yeah. like that. You、yeah. go outside once once yeah, a month. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you're inside just playing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just busting your chops. I'm having fun because I love the intensity.、Yeah. It's like a wrestler or anybody that wants to be great at something.、Mm-hmm. They have to do it all day, every yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Have you read、uh, Malcolm Gladwell's book、uh, where he states,、no. "If you get a chance,、uh, read his book. Yeah.、Uh, you have plenty of time. Ten、um, <laughs> hours、mm-hmm. is what he argues is, is required to be an expert at something,、uh-huh. whether you're a programmer or right, playing ice hockey、oh. or a piano." Mm-hmm. And so, if you've been doing six hours a day for eight years,、um, for yeah, eight years. So, what is that? Eighteen hundred hours.、Uh, it's about eighteen、yeah. hundred hours a week,、um, a year, right?、Mm-hmm. And、um, it, yeah, you're almost there. <laughs> you're almost there. <laughs> well, so, or you're over that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So,、um, what would you recommend、uh, other thirteen-year-old kids do? To well, um, to be as successful as you are, um, practice, study, <laughs> and just work hard. Yeah, but you can't just work hard. If you just work hard, then you get like kind of cr- cramped. You know, you just you have to go some. You have to have some fun. A little bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Disneyland. Yeah. We'll be right back to this interview, but first, a quick word from FitAid, today's sponsor. Why do you race? For the glory, for the honor, for the Fit Aid. Every ice cold can of Fit Aid contains ingredients to help your body recover. It never contains any artificial flavors or sweeteners. Fit Aid is the clean sports recovery drink. It's 45 calories, certified non-GMO tested, vegan, paleo friendly, certified gluten free, kosher, and it never contains artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, or sodium. And Fit Aid now comes in a zero sugar option. It's keto friendly with only five calories. It's naturally sweetened with monk fruit and stevia. The recovery blend has glutamine, glucosamine, turmeric, BCAAs, omega threes, CoQ10, a full B complex, and electrolytes. It's perfect for after your race, at the gym, hiking, or biking. Find Fit Aid at your next Spartan Race finish line, or go to lifeaidbevco.com and enter the code Spartan15 at checkout to save 15% off. That's lifeaidbevco.com and the code Spartan15 for 15% off plus fast, free shipping. Now back to the interview. And finally, Brian Chantosh, host of our own series Spartan Stand, gives us a broader idea of what consistency means. When somebody says consistency, what you're probably thinking is On time, scheduled, repetitive, reliable, routine. Boom, 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 done. And I, th- I think that's a part of it. I think that's a, but a very small part of it. And in fact, when you do the Webster dictionary, something, something, it probably has a definition along those lines. What if I broadened our idea of what consistency was to include taking advantage of opportunity when you have it, meaning? I might not have an opportunity to work out today. Well, let's not hold it against me because every time I do have an opportunity, I take it and I work out. Or if I don't have an opportunity today, I actually seek to try to make an opportunity so that I can work out. What this does is it take, allows us to take ownership for taking advantage of opportunity or creating opportunity in order to be consistent at doing something that we want to do. And、it also allows for forgiveness when something happens or something comes up that just prevents us from doing that one thing. For me, it's it. I talk about working out, or I'll talk about being consistent with my diet. Let's talk about the diet one instead of the workout one. Where, okay, hey, I want to eat clean. I want to eat three meals a day. I want to eat this certain selection of food and stay away from these food choices. And I do that, and then I slip up. I have、uh, a guest come over. We decide to have a beer. We decide to eat the pizza, and I feel like I just broke it. I was six days on my my decent new plan, my new diet, my New Year's resolution. I was sticking to it, and then an event happened, an unforeseeable, and I wanted to take advantage of socializing with a friend. And then I feel the next morning like, oh, I failed. I ruined everything that I worked for for six days, seven days. I'm a failure. Well, I got to start over. 
you know, and I just don't think that's healthy. I think that's where we fall into the trap of then, well, then getting back on track and events happen to us. Maybe we go five days the next time and then we fail or four days the next time after that. And then we just have another hiccup. And then finally it's like, yeah, well, why am I doing this? I can't be consistent. What's the, what's the point? And instead, if we reframe it to say, well, I have an opportunity today. I need to take it. I didn't have an opportunity today. I'm going to try and create an opportunity and take advantage of that. So consistency can include those other two definitions or parameters so that we can fight being frustrated with ourselves or fight feeling like we've just defeated ourselves on things that we want to do. We just can't satisfy all of the competing interests that we have in our lives unless you really insulate yourself and then you become kind of specialized at what you do. We just do our best, do the best that you can. Be consistent at doing the best that you can and not using a, a hiccup as an excuse not to just pick up where you left off. There's a saying, you're only as good as your last meal anyways, right? So you had a bad meal, just suck it up and recognize like, okay, hey, that was what it is. I'm only going to be as bad as my last meal. Pick up right where you left off. In a workout sense, it, it used to be, hey, you know, Mondays was this workout, Tuesdays was this workout, Wednesdays was this workout and repeat pattern. And if I had to do something on Monday and I missed that workout, I was, I was in a dilemma. Well, it's ruining my routine. Do I do Monday's workout now on Tuesday and pick up where I left off, but that ruins my rest day and it just throws me off? Or do I just forget Monday's workout and do Tuesday's workout on Tuesday? And then I can go back whatever I pick and choose to do, but and it doesn't feel right, especially when you miss like two days or three days in a row because of work or travel or unforeseeables. And that's a place where I've failed in the past. Ah, I missed bench day. I can't, I can't, this week is ruined. I need to do bench day on Tuesday. I need to cram bench day and back day on the same day. So now I do both of them half ass in order to be consistent at working out when I can just say, hey, you know what? just missed it. Just pick up where you left off. Keep going. It's going to be okay. You're better off continuing than you are resetting and feeling like you have to start over. So being consistent, it doesn't necessarily have to mean same time, same place, same thing, repetition. It's a small part of it. Thanks for listening to this classic episode of the Spartan Up Podcast. Remember, whatever task you're taking on, you will need resilience of mind, body, and spirit. And we're here to be your partner with reminders, techniques, and strategies three days a week to help you stay on track. Whatever app you listen in, click that follow button or that subscribe button to make sure you get notifications and you don't miss valuable information. See you next time. This episode of Spartan Up is brought to you by FitAid. Race dirty, recover clean with FitAid Sports Recovery Drink. Visit lifeaidbevco.com and enter the code SPARTAN15 at checkout to get 15% off FitAid.